And after defeating Radan, I went down the hole the Falling Star created. Of course, not without dying. As I know me, it's only a matter of time until I fall down here. And saving us all from the long and painful way to this boss, I'm just going to show you how I defeat this boss. Because it is a mimic, he will mimic you, well obviously, and that means whatever your equipment you carry, he will carry too. So that again means... That if you don't go in with any weapons, he won't have any weapons as well. Which is good. And I made myself some fun with that. Come, hit me. Hit me with all you've got. Wow! That's some serious damage right there. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um. That fight describes me pretty good. That's like that's me against an enemy. <laughs> of course. Um. Uh. Yeah. Well. No need to explain, do I? You don't, because I will. I just meant that I'm the guy without any weapons against a very strong enemy who just tries to charge in. And after I got the item Rani requested, I went back to it to receive my reward. Said reward was the item that was required for the shrine. Real shit. And within said inverted tower, I faced two enemies. The first one was a mage, which, which was very annoying, but I was able to take care of it. And the other one was a godskin. And I can tell you, it is not the last time that I'm going to fight him. Okay, what are you? Uh huh. Oh. Fuck not. Here got even more fat now. Fat asshole. And with those memorable words, I cast the spell on my sword because I expected a boss find behind that door and opened that door. But at the top, I only found a body that had some good loot on it. I don't trust the piece. After that kind of disappointing tower, I went on my way to explore more regions of the map. To be exact, I went to one of the grand elevators.
And at the new regions I explored a little bit, but then I already found the new one. You remember the tree sentinel that I defeated on my first video? Yeah, he had a brother, a meaner brother, a big brother. A brother that had an attack that was pretty much undodgeable. And I'm talking about the lightning. Rolling, no use. Torrent jumping, also no use. Hiding behind, behind cover so she doesn't have line of sight, also no use because he apparently has auto track or something like that. So I went for a little bit of a different strategy. Instead of attacking him openly, I was to sneak behind him and poison him to death. That's how I deal with annoying idiots like you. And after that I basically jumped into the next boss which was Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. And yes, I died plenty of times against him. So many times in fact that I had enough and used the Great Shield Soldier Summon. And yeah, you can flame me now. I use summons, I don't care. That boss fight was so annoying. Thanks buddies, you You really saved me. See you a bit later, buddies. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, That was so annoying. And yes, flame me, I'm a bad person, I use summons. Cry about it. And again after that I jumped into the next boss fight, which was Morgot. Oh I just I just defeated a boss. So why? Graceless tarnished. Oh Godric. What is thy business with these thrones? I have no interest in them. Ah Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies. Mikola and Melania. Melania. General Bradan. Dead. Praetor Rikard. Don't know him. Luna Princess Rani. Defeated but not dead. Willful traitors. All. Thy kind are all of a piece. You should get a haircut, I think. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Nice sword. You know. Last of all kings. Uh, yes, I died over and over and over again. But eventually I was able to do it, but of course not without a summon.
I'm fucking shaking right now. <sighs> fire! Fire and forget, fire and fire, fire! Yeah, baby! <sighs> rest. I need to rest. Hello, Melina. Whew. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame Wait, what? and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. <laughs> Wish to journey with you to the flame then and guide. Let's go.